Right, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart the Apple Universal Dock. Now, for this, you're going to need one of them, like a precision screwdriver, and you're going to need some sort of flathead screwdriver. So, for this, I'm using my pen, I think not that one. This one. Right, because it's Apple design, um, there's no screws or anything, it's just a nice matte finish. But there are screws because they're hidden. So, what we're going to do is work from choose a side, left or right, not the front or back. And so, I'm going to choose this side and I'm just going to slide it in and kind of work it out. So, it's, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But it's slightly out. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I've got it in like that. And just work it out. And on the front. But don't do this on the back. Just go around until you've worked it out. So look, it's like this. It's a bit loose. Don't do it on the back. You just lift it out like this. So, put this down. Now, around all this metal around the edge, there's a weight to keep it in place. So, what I'm going to do is use my screwdriver and just remove them. Right, once you've taken all five screws out, this metal just lifts off like this. And you take that away. Now it doesn't actually need that to function, so you can get this, um, and it it works perfectly fine without it. For an example, get my iPod Touch, put it in like this. I can use my remote. Play music, turn up. Yeah, do, do all the functions it can. So, this was just a, a, just a little show preview. Now, to put it back together, you just do everything in reverse. And in theory, you don't need to put this weight on. So, say if you're just trying to make it lighter, you could just clip this back on in as as you had before. Anyway to put it back together, put your weight on, line up the screw holes and put your screws back to back in. Now once you put them on, the way you need to guide it in is you've got the back here with your connector and your, your audio out. So it just needs a bit of wiggling but the trick is put the back in first so you you line it up in the back like that and then it should just clip in if you just push until you can hear the click all the way around and then make sure the seal is flush all the way around. And as we didn't take any electronics out because they're all soldered in, nothing should have happened. But to check it still works. It does. So this has been a quick tutorial on how to take apart the Apple Universal Dock. And maybe a little bit of how to use it if you want. Uh, you can... It's probably used to your advantage by if you wanted to make it lighter, maybe modify it so it stood on a wall or something, you know, stood on the plug. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. I think the button's down there, you know, and the your point, but anyway, bye.